So you want to attach something to something else securely, but not permanently. You can probably bolt it. Here's a few ways of adding female threads to a bunch of different materials. Do you have access to the back side of a piece of wood? Perhaps you're building a motorcycle seat or a chair. Before you add foam and upholstery, you can install T-nuts. The spikes will hold them in place until it's time to attach whatever it is that needs attaching. If you don't have access to the backside and never will, a threaded insert would be a much better choice. Measure the diameter of the barrel, drill a hole that size, and screw it in. Ready for voltage. If you've got full access to all sides, a barrel nut is probably the easiest thing in this video. Drill a hole and stick it in. With myriad sizes, there's no limit to what you can use these on. Attach metal to wood. Attach wood to plastic. Attach plastic to leather. Attach leather to cheese. That's dumb, but you get the point. If you want to attach something to an edge, like perhaps when creating some sort of a cover, U-nuts are handy and simple. Clip them in place, mark, drill, and install. U-nuts can only be used on thinner material, but they can be used on almost anything. Metal, plastic, fiberglass, glass. Nope, not glass. In thin material not near an edge, actually I'd use it near an edge too, my favorite option is the riv nut or the nut cert, or the thread cert. These require a special tool, unfortunately, but it's super worth it. The tool resembles a hand riveter. The thread certs themselves resemble rivets in that you drill a hole to match the barrel, and then the tool mushrooms out the thread cert to lock it in place. The best thing about them is you don't need access to the backside of your workpiece. These work best in sheet metal, but can also be used in plastic and fiberglass if it's not too thick. In thicker material, usually metal, plastic, or epoxy, you can make female threads with a tap. You need to drill a hole slightly smaller than the tap and then twist it in. Taps are really brittle, so don't force it. It's slow and it's tedious. If you've got a bunch of holes to tap, I'm sorry. Don't have a tap? You can install a flanged nut, but unfortunately this is only an option in metal, and only if you have a welder and the skill to use it. Measure your nut across the two furthest points and drill a hole just a smidge smaller. I used a countersink bit so that I can recess the nut a little further. Not necessarily required. Most nuts have a coating that can make welding difficult, so remove that. Then, using a handheld swinging press, force the nut into the hole. With the nut in place, I can clean the coating off the bottom of the nut and clean off the workpiece simultaneously. Weld the nut in. If you have access to the back side, you can place a few tacks back there as well. If you've got a little pride, Knock down those welds in the front. Now you've got a threaded hole to attach something to.
I found this in the hardware store and it took a little while to figure out what it was for. If you hammer this thing into the end of a piece of tubing, it locks into place and allows you to make crossbars for something that needs crossbars. This is a drywall anchor. This isn't actually installing threads into drywall per se, but it's easily threaded with whatever screw or bolt you put in it. So in the end, you kind of have a threaded hole that you can use to attach and detach stuff. This anchor has a really cool tip so that if you accidentally hit a stud, it'll cut right through it. Never mind, that didn't work at all. Avoid studs. On more than one occasion, I've tightened those anchors far too tight and just augured a giant hole in the wall. The next doohickey might save the day. It's a hollow wall anchor that spreads out on the back side and leaves you with a threaded hole. This concrete anchor is fantastic for tools that you need to bolt to the floor, but you don't want that tool there forever and ever. This is another one that requires special tools. You're going to need a hammer drill for this one. Luckily, you can rent one from most home improvement stores. These anchors get hammered into the cement and then they grab and tighten up when you try to pull them out. That said, you need to hammer it in a little too far. So when you tighten up the bolt, it grabs the cement before it sticks up past the surface. If it does stick up too far, I'd recommend just trimming a little off the top with a flap disc. This was every method of installing female threads that I could find in the hardware store. Did I miss any? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you in the next one, my friends. Until then, keep moving forward.